Greetings guys, Shilan is here. Welcome back to another Warframe Arsenal video. Today we are going to talk about Juga, precise arrow build. For a start, let's go through building requirements. First of all, no mastery requirements, but to build Juga you have to have rare materials such as Argon Crystals and Nitan Extracts. Once you build Chuga, it comes with great stats and traits. Traits such as high puncture damage, great for fighting against armored enemies, great accuracy and silent, perfectly usable for medium and long range encounters and also grants stealth playstyle. Finally, it has 20% critical chance and 35% status chance, allows player to mod this weapon in several waves. Although Chuga has one problem, which is high recoil. During full auto shooting mode, recoil goes up and to counter it, you need to move your weapon down. If you are thinking to use this weapon as full auto weapon, there is a way to reduce recoil. With all being said, let's see how we're going to mod Juga. For precise arrow build, we are going to use 5 formats. In 5 format slots, we are going to put these modifications. Split chamber, serration, piercing caliber, point strike and argon scope. For Grenier, Corpus and Wind we are going to use these modifications. Vital Sense, Bladed Rounds and Stabilizer. Now Stabilizer is required as it will drastically reduce recoil while firing in auto mode. Only for Infested we are going to swap argon scope for Bane of Infested. Chuga is an interesting weapon. It can be used in high-end missions. It also has stats that can be modded in various ways and bring any playstyle you like, wherever it will be a critical or status chance build or more. For me personally, I am going with critical chance build. During testing at the beginning I had hard time dealing with high recoil, but installing stabilizer it fixes biggest issue of this weapon. One small issue that this weapon has which is bullet travel time. Unlike any other weapons that has hitscan, Chuga Arrows has travel time and can be quite difficult to aim for enemy's head for a while. Although spending your time with this crossbow, you will get used to bullet travel time and you will make small adjustments to make sure that you will hit your target. In the end, I'm highly suggesting you to invest your time into the Chuka. It might require three materials to build this crossbow, but in the end, you will be quite surprised with the results that Chuka can produce. 